What's going on friends? Jesse here with another Fly Time Friday video. The other day I posted a poll on my Instagram to see if you guys wanted to see me tie a mini stone fly or a typical shad dart. The mini stone fly won. Thank you guys to everyone on my Instagram that voted. I really appreciate that and I'm going to be using Instagram a little more to see what you guys want to see. So without further ado, let's head to the vice. What's going on guys? We're at the vise now, tying up this mini stone fly. I'm going to start off with this size 12 nymph hook. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to pinch this barb. And get that into the vise here. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to come in with a 0.25 wire, lead wire. I'm going to give this a few wraps just to add a little bit of weight to this. And then uh, this is my Ray Ray. Say hi. Hi. You're going to be on the YouTube video. Can you get him out of here? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, you're in it. And then I put the bead wrap in. All right, so I'm just uh, pinching this lead wire here so it's nice and tight, guys. my little pliers and just make sure those ends are, are pushed down. There we go. Okay, so we want to secure that right about there, guys. So now we're going to take our thread. I'm using this uh, 6 aught black uni thread. I'm going to come, I'm going to start the thread in front of it. Get that secured. I'm going to bring my tag end over the lead do a few loose wraps on top and to the back and I'm going to build up a little thread bump right behind that lead okay and I'm going to come across again up front build that thread base up again there and back over I'm going to do this a few times guys just so I can secure the lead down and uh, create a nice even texture on that thread for materials later. So there, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and trim that tag end off. And I want to build this thread bump behind the lead so it's nice taper down to the bend of the hook. Sort of like that. That looks pretty good, guys. I'm going to bring the thread down just above the barb, right about there. Okay, so now what we're going to take is our stripped goose feather uh, using these biots um, for the stone fly. I'm not a particular fan of these biots, but uh, I'm going to use it in this fly just because um, that's what they usually call for. So I'm going to strip a few biots off and uh, get those ready to tie in here. So I'm going to put these back to back to each other so they flare outwards, sort of like that. I'm going to pinch those on the back of the hook and uh, secure them nice and tight. And sometimes you have to fiddle with them a little bit to get them where you want them on the side of the hook shank. And in this case, you're seeing why I don't necessarily like to use them. Just come in here, pick that out. There we go. Okay, so that's looking all right. I'm going to go ahead and secure those biots down up the body. And right about there. Come in and trim those ends off. Okay, so we just want to cover the, those biots up with uh, nice thread wraps here. And back down to where we started them off at. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So, 
Next, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our wire. Yes, that's all right. Wire. I'm going to use this nice green wire, guys. This is going to give me a nice segmented body look and uh, add a little bit more weight. And it's going to, uh, like I said, segment the body quite well. We're just going to take this, we're going to tie this in on the side of the hook shank. And back down to the biot in the back. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to bring our thread up pretty much to the middle of that lead that we put on, guys. And we're going to start wrapping our wire up nice and tight. You want these to be touching wraps. The first few are really important because it's going to lay out perfectly for your next few wraps so there we go we've pretty much got it so now we can just go ahead and wrap that up and they're pretty much just going to fall into place i'm going to give it a little flash in the water still going to be nice and dark for our dark stone fly as you can see guys my biots are, are fairly white they're not a black biot that's, uh, I like to use these white biots for my stone flies when I use them. This gives me a little extra, little extra flash in the water. You can see there, guys, I had to go back a little bit to get that wire to touch. It's kind of like tying up a copper john pattern or something like that using this wire. So I'm pretty much where I want to be. I back my thread off a little bit so I can catch that wire around nice and tight. Wrap in front of that wire. Another one in behind it. Okay. Now you want to hold that thread nice and tight while you helicopter that wire off. go and cover up that tag end of the wire perfect okay guys so our next step is taking some nymph skin or any substitute I'm out of nymph skin so I'm going to substitute for some of this uh, black nitrile rubber glove material Seems to work really well. It's nice and stretchy. It's strong. It actually has quite a nice, uh, <clears throat> quite a nice texture to it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to tie that in now. We want to tie that right on top of the hook shank and secure that down and back. To about where your wire ends you can go a little further so when you pull it ahead you see perfect it overlaps with your wire that's great okay guys so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put a little wax on our thread and start a little tiny thin tight dubbing noodle So there's my little tight dubbing noodle, guys. We go ahead and start wrapping that up right in front of where we just put our uh, nymph skin or whatever you're using. Come in front of that a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and grab two more biots. Pull those apart, get them situated where you want them. These ones you kind of want to leave a little longer. Here that one down. It's going to come to your side now. Measure them out. And capture that. There we go. A few wraps. There we go. That's looking pretty good that a little bit there we are 
Okay, now we want to just trim those off nice and close. All right, wrap those up, secure them in place. Come back on them a little couple wraps and they'll flare outward. You want to go ahead and grab your dubbing again. Tight noodle there. I'm using a, a Borden Hairtron dubbing. It's, uh, I really like using this stuff. The Antron gives it a nice flash. The black is really dark. Okay, so you want to come back now over your dubbing. We want to pull our wing case material over top and grab our first segment there we go move our thread forward over our dubbing and we should have a bump there already so we're going to go ahead and grab two more of these biots this is kind of hard to do without crowding the eye on this hook because it's such a small hook guys uh, but it's doable might take you a few times Uh, I follow a page on Facebook called Stupid Simple Fly Tires. And when I was out of nymph skin, I just threw a question up on that page and asked the guys uh, and gals what, uh, what they like to use as substitutes. And I've got all kinds of awesome answers um, for the future and different flies and things like that, you know, different colors. Um, if you guys are interested, that's a great page to join, and uh, what a great community of, of simple, stupid fly tires to have fun with. All kinds of cool recipes on there for flies that you'd never think about. Okay, so we're there now. We want to uh, pull our second wing case over. Actually. Before we do that, I'm going to put a little more dubbing. I have a little more room for just the tiniest little bit of dubbing. So I'll grab a little tiny pinch here, create a little tiny tight noodle again, and we're going to go ahead and just wrap that up there. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and pull that wing case material over, Cap capture that. Perfect. Awesome, guys. So now what we can do is go ahead and pull that wing case nice and tight. Trim that off. Got some nice looking guard hairs sticking out of here. And I, I like them. I think I might even leave them. You know, usually a stonefly has three arms or legs or whatever you want to call them uh, out the side and also has two biots sticking out the front well this is a real mini stonefly so what I like to do is just kind of leave it a little messy and you put this dubbing on so you can afford to you know brush some out underneath or whatnot anyway guys build up a little head here um, just to cover everything up. It's okay if you have a bigger head, a bulkier head, as long as you don't crowd the eye of the hook. We're going to go ahead and grab our whip finisher, put a 3-4 turn whip on there, lock that in place. Always check your whips by pulling your thread forward, guys. That's looking pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and cut that thread. Oh yeah, that's looking really good guys. Probably one of my better stone flies. You know, I'm not a huge fan of tying these, um, but they're super killer springtime um, as a bottom bouncer or lower water column. Um, especially once you start seeing them come out of the water to uh, hatch, uh, you want to be fishing, um, you know, shallow banks 
or uh, lake sides or anything like that. And the trout are cruising up through the shallows, feeding on these things as they kind of crawl along the rocks. And in the current, current they get swept away. The trout are just prowling for these things. So, well, there's my mini stonefly, guys. Uh, I'm just going to put a little drop of head cement on this guy just to uh, secure those thread wraps really good. Wow, there we go, guys. It's been a great fly tying Friday. I've tied up about four four or five different flies <clears throat> and uh, made this video for you guys. Um, I had to use my GoPro because my uh, macro camera I started getting a buzz in the microphone so that's no good. You guys don't want to hear a big buzz. Anyway, hopefully that was uh, close enough to be in focus for you guys. I know it's a wide angle kind of uh, fish eye lens on this GoPro, so it can be a bit difficult to tie flies in front of. But there it is, guys. There's the mini stone fly with the green wire body uh, by it. Um, pretty proud of myself for tying this guy up. You know, I don't usually use by it and they don't uh, usually turn out this good. So, if you like what you see, guys, and you're proud of me too, hit that like button down below, and subscribe for uh, full updates on next videos. We're getting into uh, fishing season here in, what, 11 days now? So the countdown's on. The fly boxes are almost full, and I'm getting really pumped up. So, Come along with us on the journey. We'd love to have you. Thanks for tuning in to Friends on the Fly. We'll catch you next time.